All right, guys, let's do part three here. Okay, I'm going to bring another image in, and I'm hoping this image has some things that, let's just say, it's not a perfect image. There's some things we need to do to the document. Let's see, that one has a black box around it, not bad. Let's see here. Okay, let's use that one, for example. Um, cool. All right, I'll just use that one. Here we go. We'll take this one, okay? And... Uh, let's take another one. That's the easy one. Oh, I love this one. Uh, okay, we'll take this one. I was hoping... Okay, let's say you like this image and you really want it to only show a certain aspect of it. Okay? You don't want the full shot. So one of the things you'll do is you'll right-click, obviously. You'll rasterize and you're going to say, I want to crop this, Mr. Bellion. And if you do crop right now you're gonna affect the whole document and that's a big no-no okay so watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hide this I'm gonna make a new document and this time you can actually go file open watch this instead of file place we'll go to file open all right and we'll just pick one of these shots and which one was it who cares what does it matter but let's have a nice visual to work with right let's go here boom so notice now you are outside of your document very important second here we are and background, boom, whatever. Yep, uh, good to go. Uh, what I want to do is immediately unlock it, right? Double click. The lock is gone. Okay, here is the image. And I was thinking personally to have a tighter shot, and we're going to go and use the crop tool. Okay, we're going to come in here, and we're going to say, that's what we like. Look at that. As soon as I press enter or return, the document has changed. Notice. Okay, the next thing I always say to you guys, get out of the tool. If you stay here, it's going to crop further. Uh-oh, escape, get out of that. So what we do, just go back to the pointer tool, which is select tool, move tool, depending on Illustrator, Photoshop, it's all the same to me. V is the move tool, right? There it is. Now I crop this. I love it. So we'll just go file, save as. Okay, we'll make it as Photoshop inside. And, and this one's called feature whoever created this thank you again for your work zero two a b because i doctored it up i mean i basically edited it so this becomes a photoshop document okay that's fine but what i really want to do is have it as a jpeg right picture format file save as set of photoshop you notice the other ones are jpeg right let's look for it jpeg right here jpeg it is done save okay cool so now that i and again i always push the maximum all right um the quality maximum please and okay we're not going to get into this okay you're in grade 9 and 10 this is this is good enough for you right now boom okay fair enough come back to the document and now instead of going file open we work on file place and there it is a b jpeg it's this one thank you very much resize and we'll bring it down over here on this line okay and um, you want to this size, whatever size you want, it's up to you. Okay, I'm going to press enter and notice that it doesn't look like the 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 original picture would have more stuff to it. Okay, sometimes you know there are elements that you don't want. Like for me, I could have really taken this image here. Let's do that one more time as a review. Okay, we're going to go file open. Uh, let's look at that first shot. Where are you? Boom. One more. Come down. Uh, there we go. Right here. Okay, here's the shot. Right. And again, double click, unlock, done. You can rename it if you like, but for now we don't have to. I really like this piece, C for crop. There it is, one of the old darkroom uh, icons. Okay, this is one of the few times where I say you don't have to hold shift because you're cropping. Look how cool this is, all right? And maybe with that, that would look kind of cool. All right, enter, done. What did I say? Get out of the tool. Don't stay in the crop tool. Go to the V, move tool. All right, there it is. Now we just go Command Shift S, Control Shift S, or File Save As right here. And this time this will be the second one, and I want to change it from Photoshop to JPEG. And I'm just going to put a simple underscore here, A B, so I know I actually cropped the image, and I thank the people for creating this awesome, awesome visual. All right, we'll go back to our document here. Uh, there it is, and we're just going to place it in. Okay, so you're going to say hey, it already exists. Not a problem. File, place. Okay, where's my shot? Right there. Okay, command minus. And look how awesome this image is. Really high quality. For me, I'm going to press enter. Now notice it's here. A second version right there. 
So all you have to do is right click. There it is, Photoshop, thank you for telling me which layer it is. Hide it, done. Right click on this one, Concept Futuristic Cities, lovely, you're coming over here. Okay, and I'll just slide it over, perhaps here. Let's just do something. I'm not. I don't have to align everything. Okay, so we'll just leave it like that. And again, Command T a bit and resize that. Coming down and press Enter. Right click on my text. Let me zoom in a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Right click, create power, great tower design. Indeed. So if I hold Shift, it aligns to the axes you're working. How nice is that? Okay, so we actually use only the area that we're interested in. Isn't that nice? All right, folks, I hope this wasn't too fast. Watch it again a few times. I think this was exciting. Mr. Brian says thank you. That's me. Bye-bye. Take care. Until next time.